Well, I think I've got a quick video today that I think a lot of people are going to find quite uh, useful. Um, if you're a video editor or, you know, something similar, you might have tried to use DaVinci Resolve Free on Linux, as it's one of the few kind of more industry standard video editors on Linux. Now, Caden Live is good, but I uh, understand that for a lot of people, you're going to need to use DaVinci Resolve. And if you've tried to use the free version, you might encounter this issue whereby you get your video file, you know, it's maybe it's an MP4 or whatever, and you try to put it in and it doesn't work, as you can see. Um, and of course, the reason for this, in uh, DaVinci Resolve Free, the codec support is unfortunately abysmal. Uh, actually awful. Um, and now I get there's like licensing reasons for that, but if you want to use your videos in DaVinci Resolve to edit, you're going to need to kind of put them into a format that DaVinci Resolve support. Now thankfully, thanks to the Linux command line and FFmpeg, there's a really easy and quick way that you can do that and uh, get on with editing your videos. Now this video is kind of going to assume that the videos you want to import into uh, DaVinci Resolve are, you know, MP4s already. If they're not, of course, you can, you know, change up the script for your use case. But uh, with that said, let's kind of just show how this works. Um, so, of course, we have our highly important MP4 here. It would be a dire shame if we couldn't edit this. Um, so, in order to get this into DaVinci Resolve, what we're going to do is we're going to open up, you know, new file manager or whatever. And um, I have here this script, which will essentially take a folder, you know, any given folder, and convert all of the MP4s that it finds into a format and um, indeed audio and video format that will work with DaVinci Resolve. So if we go into our text editor we can see we have this command here. Um, and now this is the command that you're going to want to use um, to transcode all your videos. Now in order to actually get a file that will run this command, what you need to do is you need to go ahead and make a new text document in whatever text editor you want, paste that in, click save, and we're just going to call it encode.sh. And of course, since I already have that file, I'm not going to save it, but once you've gone ahead and done that, close out of that, and you want to right click, properties, permissions, allow executing the files of program, and now what you have is this very convenient program which you can, you know, give it a directory and it will go ahead and convert all the MP4s. So if we open the terminal here, get our uh, program, drag and drop it into the terminal, run it, and you can already see that it's created a folder called Transcoded, and it's going ahead and transcoding uh, all of our videos. And as you can see, we have uh, our video that has been completely transcoded and will now work with DaVinci Resolve. So we put that in there, as you can see, works perfectly. Now, of course, you can see that there's no sound on this video, but there wasn't to begin with. If you have a video with sound, it will work perfectly. And as you can see, that works perfectly. Now, this will render, but I'm going to demonstrate that it will. So if we go ahead and add that to the render queue, yeah, just save in my video folder, replace, start render, and as you can see, works perfectly. Uh, you might also notice that the rendering is very fast in DaVinci Resolve, which, to be fair, it is. So if time is, for whatever reason, of the essence, maybe this is a better option than uh, Caden Live for you. Um, but I think for most people, I'm just going to go ahead and recommend Caden Live. Because the main caveat to using this on Linux is, one, it's not open source, which, you know, um, watch my video called Take Back the Digital Means of Production if you want to know why that's a problem. Um, but also you very much have to build your workflow around this. You have to transcode all the MP4s you want to use to put into here. Um, in a, if you record using your day or whatever, you need to export to a WAV, otherwise it won't work because DaVinci Resolve Free doesn't support um, MP3s on Linux. And if you use OBS or Simple Screen Recorder, you're going to have to either configure those programs to export directly to a format that DaVinci Resolve supports, or you're going to have to re-encode all of your videos. Which doesn't take too long with FFmpeg, because FFmpeg is quite quick, but it is still very annoying. Um, but whether or not DaVinci Resolve makes it worth it for you, I don't know. And of course, if you have the um, studio version of DaVinci Resolve, well, then none of this is an issue, and all of your codecs are supported anyway. However, 
to me, I think DaVinci Resolve will kind of always be another option. And it's an alright option at that. It's a free professional video editor on Linux. That just kind of goes to show how far we've come as an operating system. So, if you do a lot of video editing, I would probably give it a look. But I think that's just about it for today's video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.